I'm Ted Hall. Those stories are coming up. First, let's get to the owner of that Knoxville bar, only speaking with us tonight to defend his business after the DA shut his place down. Gwendolyn Decree bringing us the exclusive here. Gwen, this club has been on police radar for a long time. A number, dozens of crimes, including a homicide investigation. What does the owner have to say about all that? Well, Ted, we've heard from the DA's office, police, and even neighbors, but tonight the owner is saying he wants to share his side. It brought happiness to me, walking in every day and seeing that many people that are happy. That's how the owner of Bebo's Cafe felt about this club for the last two years. But as of last Friday, happy is nowhere in the picture. We all trying to survive. Bevo Simon says he was out of town when he got word the district attorney's office ordered the place to be boarded up hours before it was expected to open for the day. According to court documents, officers have been called out to the club for shootings, alleged drug use and hit and runs. A total of 68 times in 18 months. 68 calls or moments does not detect uh, all the other minutes. But the good can't suffer for the bad. That's under the state's public nuisance law, at least, which allows authorities to temporarily shut down a business. In this case, the petition claims Saman and his staff were either unwilling or unable to control the crime on the property. Saman shutting those claims down. It's not a single pocket knife that comes inside. Every, every time we have a situation, it's, it's even, even fights. They don't even fight inside because we put a stop to it, we separate them, and we get them outside. And once they go outside, they just like they start beating each other and whoever loses just go nuts and, and, and grab a gun. And I, again, I can't put stop to this. The owner says he's made changes, including firing what he believes were bad apples, hiring security, cleaning out the parking lot and changing the dress code. This is a high resolution. This is us right here. He also has live cameras around the property and says he's turned all the footage over to police. I want to I want to put a stop to this as well with the city. But I don't think it's just uh, shutting my establishment is the right way of doing this, especially that no one ever officially sat down and talked to me and tried to make this work. Still, it wasn't enough to stop all the crimes, so we had to ask two questions. One, why not beat authorities to the closure? This is where I feed my kids. This is where I provide for my family. This is where I afford to live comfortable. And will Bebo's make a comeback? I'm not, I'm not fighting it. Um, I'm not fighting it. He'll have his day in court on Friday. But for now, in Knoxville, Gwendolyn Ducre, WVLT News. The owner did say he wanted police instead of playing security to work inside the bar to try to curb the violence. But as of last year, KPD officers aren't allowed to work in bars. You can watch the full exclusive interview by heading over to the WVLT News app.